Today we're going to compare the beliefs of three Methodist denominations, the Evangelical Methodist Church, Bible Methodist Connection of Churches, and Free Methodist Church. Let me briefly cover where they came from. From 1784 until 1939, the largest U.S. Methodist denomination was the Methodist Episcopal Church. In 1860, the Free Methodist Church formed when its founders were removed from the MEC over issues of abolition of slavery and their emphasis of Wesleyan theology. In 1844, the Methodist Episcopal Church, South, had also left the MEC, and years later, in 1939, they merged back into the MEC to form the Methodist Church. From this denomination, the Evangelical Methodist Church split in 1946 over issues of theological liberalism in the Methodist Church and the EMC's Wesleyan emphasis. The Methodist Church would later merge with another denomination to make today's United Methodist Church. In 1841, a denomination called the Wesleyan Methodist Church had left the Methodist Episcopal Church over slavery, church government, and holiness. They merged with the Pilgrim Holiness Church in 1968 to form the Wesleyan Church, and at the merger, the Bible Methodist Connection of Churches exited over issues like desiring lesser central control over the congregations. There is a longer, detailed video on each of the three denominations here on the Ready to Harvest channel, so if you want more information about any of them, go and check those out. All three denominations accept the major doctrines of Christianity, the Trinity, Deity of Christ, Virgin Birth, Resurrection, a literal heaven and hell. All three denominations hold to two sacraments, baptism and the Lord's Supper. Both the Evangelical Methodist Church and Free Methodist Church allow infant baptism. Some churches in the Evangelical Methodist Church practice only believer's baptism, and the discipline makes allowance for a simple infant dedication. Only believers are baptized in the Bible Methodist Connection. All three denominations allow immersion, pouring, or sprinkling as the mode. Immersion is the normal practice for Bible Methodists. The Evangelical Methodist and Free Methodist Church retain wording on the presence of Christ and the elements that mirrors the Anglican 39 Articles, advancing the view that Christ's body and blood are actually partaken of, but denying transubstantiation and saying that Christ's body is taken and eaten in a spiritual manner. The Bible Methodist Church has no statement on presence. All three typically use unfermented grape juice as the element of the cup. All three have open communion. All three affirm a 66-book canon of scripture and believe the Bible is inspired and inerrant. The Evangelical Methodist Church doesn't require a position on evolution or the age of the earth. The Bible Methodists teach a literal six-day creation and young earth creation is commonly taught. Free Methodists allow varying views on the matter. All three affirm the doctrine of original sin and all teach salvation as a necessary born-again experience received by grace through faith. Good works cannot earn salvation. All three have an Arminian soteriology, denying limited atonement, for example, and believing that a saved person can apostatize and forfeit their salvation. All three teach a post-salvation crisis experience of entire sanctification and that a person can be made perfect in love in this life. None of the three denominations are Pentecostal or charismatic, but neither do any of them have an official stance as being cessationist. On eschatology, the Evangelical Methodist Church is officially premillennial, while the Bible Methodists and Free Methodists don't have a required position. None of the denominations have a required position on the timing of the rapture. All three denominations teach that homosexuality is sinful and that marriage is only between a man and a woman. All three denominations teach that there are scriptural and unscriptural divorces. None have a solid official position on what makes a divorce or remarriage absolutely unscriptural, so this will be discovered case by case in the local churches. All three denominations teach that life begins at conception and that abortion is sinful. Varying worship styles can be found in the Evangelical Methodist and Free Methodist churches more than in the Bible Methodist churches. Bible Methodists tend to have more teaching on certain music being sinful and most reject contemporary music for use in worship. Bible Methodists also have a larger set of standards that they enforce, which include discouraging the use of television, a plainer style of dress, including women not having dresses that don't cover the knees, not having fancy hairstyles, no jewelry, including no wedding rings, and prohibition of women cutting their hair. All three denominations teach total abstinence from alcohol and recreational drugs. All three denominations teach that Christians are to give no less than 10% or the tithe of their income to the church. On some contemporary issues like critical race theory or critiques of capitalism, there's more discussion of views toward the more progressive positions in the Free Methodist Church than in the other two denominations, partially because the denomination itself is significantly larger than the other two. For church polity, the Evangelical Methodist Church has a connection congregational mix of polity. It views itself as a denomination, not an association of churches. 
Bible Methodists have connectional polity and view themselves less as a denomination in some sense, more like connected independent churches. The Free Methodist Church has a modified Episcopal polity. In the Evangelical Methodist Church and Bible Methodist Connection, the congregations own their own property. The Evangelical Methodist Church does have a provision for churches to, if they choose, hold their property and trust for the denomination. The Free Methodist Church owns the property of most churches. All three denominations have ordained elders. This is the only ordained office in the Evangelical Methodist and Bible Methodist churches. The Free Methodist Church also has ordained bishops. Deacons in the Evangelical Methodist and Bible Methodist Church are not ordained. In the Free Methodist Church, there are ordained located deacons and lay conference deacons. Women may serve in all church offices in all three denominations. Both the Evangelical Methodist and Free Methodist churches are part of the Christian Holiness Partnership and the Global Wesleyan Alliance. The Bible Methodist Connection is alone part of the Interchurch Holiness Convention. The Free Methodist Church alone is part of Christian Churches Together, the National Association of Evangelicals, Wesleyan Holiness Connection, and World Methodist Council. As of this video, the Evangelical Methodist Church has 83 churches in the U.S. and around 400 churches overall worldwide. The Bible Methodist Church has 84 churches in the U.S. and a small number of mission works in other countries. And the Free Methodist Church has 708 churches in the U.S. and 123 church plants. Worldwide, there are 1,201,000 members in an unknown number of churches. You're watching a Ready to Harvest video. Subscribe and look around for videos on every kind of Christian denomination.